What up, good people? Yeah, today was one of those days for me. Um, this is my trailer, and yes, I'm stuck. I'm down in Texas, um, searching for cheap fuel, found the cheap fuel, but with the cheap fuel came a jacked up parking lot. Um, this is a hole that's big enough to dump a body in. Um, this is what happened. Um, I came out of the fuel island, ready to make my turn. Um, there's major traffic right here at the exit of this truck stop. There's no lights, there's no stop signs, there's no nothing. So of course, nobody is trying to let you in. Um, nobody would stop to let you in. And so there's a stoplight uh, probably about um, 300 yards ahead. And so traffic kind of gets backed up right there in this spot. But still, even when the traffic stops, nobody wants to let you in, right? So usually when I see little water puddles or anything like that on the side, I dodge them. If, I, uh, if I'm able to make a wide enough turn, right? But this traffic was so stubborn that I, um, I was just like, well, you know, it's a little water puddle. So what? No big deal. I'll just drive in it because the traffic definitely wasn't, I mean, the traffic just wasn't going to let me in. So that's why I chose to make the turn a little bit tighter. Um, I've driven in puddles hundreds of times and no big deal. Well, this puddle was very, very, very deceiving. And you know, I've been driving trucks off and on since 2007. So, you know, you think you got, you know, just when you think you, 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 you got enough experience and you've seen it all, you've done it all, something comes along to prove you wrong. And Sure enough, I made the turn and I just dipped right in this hole. There was no way I was going to get out. So I had to call a tow truck. Call a tow truck. He came. It took him literally uh, two, three minutes to lift me up out of here. You know how much it cost me? $600. So to all of my new truck drivers or anybody that's interested in becoming an owner operator just know that these are the kinds of things that you're going to run into um this truck stop um i forget the name of it but um they really need to they really need to fix this and I asked the um, tow truck driver, I said, this ain't the first time you had to come over here, is it? And he was like, oh, no, I'm over here all the time. So it's one of them type of situations. It, it, it almost makes me wonder if the truck stop and the tow truck company are working together. But anyways, the name of the truck stop was uh, Main Street Market 400. It's at, uh, it's at I-10 East in Baytown, Texas. Um, so yeah, main street market. So anyways, that's what I, that's what I dealt with today. Had a few other things go wrong too, but, um, you know, I ain't here to complain. I'm just here to keep pushing. Just want to update y'all on what's going on with me and my refrigerator journey. Um, just to let you know about that too. Um, refrigerated, um, the money is definitely better. Um, I can't say that so far the money has definitely been better um, you, you know you got to deal with you know like they say you know heavy is the head that wears the crown so of course you know there's a few more issues that comes along with reefer you know um, the fuel you know making sure the temperature is right the odd shipping and receiving times you know but if you can handle that the money is definitely better over here on this side and so, um, you know, when you, when I run into little stuff like this, man, I just, 
I ain't gonna let it stop me. I ain't gonna let it hold me down. I'm gonna keep it pushing. All right. So uh, just wanted to come and give y'all an update on that. All right. I'm out. Peace.